Welcome back team, it's me Jay Song, and today we're going to be going over gold and XRP and uh, a few others we'll be looking at quickly, but today we'll be mostly spending some time in gold. Um, just a four hour chart, quick update for XRP, XRP is holding above its daily phantom support lines. Also on the daily we have still arched up and back down nicely, this is needed for sustained higher prices I meant to type, if they are to continue, I'm still long XRP. Okay, so XRP really is, to me, I believe it's looking very healthy. Uh, we don't need it to have very big spikes in one day to look healthy. I, it has to have certain patterns. That's what I look for. Also, if price, uh, as I explained in my other videos, I don't just sell because price is in a certain area. I sell based on behavior. If price were to do something like, re, uh, if this was the phantom line and price had done that, then I'm going to start calculating those those points and then we can be looking for price to go lower. Otherwise, price can come lower, but it's hard for it to stay in those lower prices. So the behavior of price is very important. And uh, again, if you haven't seen my videos on price action, please watch uh, my last XRP video. Let's get right into gold. All right, welcome back team. We're going to be going right into gold. And so we start on a daily chart. I'm starting on a daily chart. And I want to let you know some things about gold. Gold has been heavily manipulated in the past. So much so that a lot of the times when I've tried to chart it in the past, I haven't had much success because there's things that should be happening and things that are not happening the way they should. Um, so it, it's been difficult to really get behind some of the more better signals because the charts are not working correctly. So I did want to let you know that. However, with that said, I've noticed something very interesting that's been happening over the last month or so. And that is uh, price has actually been looking a lot like XRP with the, the patterns and we'll get right into it. But let me start with the daily chart. So some of the last things we can see since the beginning of this year in January um, I drew this pattern here, which was which was a creation of taking the tops that you can kind of see start to draw a, a pattern here. Now, why didn't I draw this one included? Well, if you were to try to draw that pattern, it would look like that, and and that's that's not that's nothing. So this tells me two stories are happening here. One, we got this going down because every time we were in this area we experience a down move. And so what you do is you can draw that and then you can draw it where it crosses and it crossed here in this range. That becomes the sword cut. And this is how you draw a parabolic sword cut. And you can see this in some of my other videos. However, this area up here is still going to have its own story. What story will it have? Well, I think it's going to act like a resistance band. I think we're going to be able to draw straight across. So Let's start with drawing that in there. And I'm going to take a line and I'm going to come up right to the core area of that. Okay. I'm going to come right to the core area and I'm going to draw out a horizontal line and I'm going to make it a little bit thick because this is the daily chart about line three thickness. And then I'm going to just draw it as a blue. It could be a resistance. It could be a um, support if price were to break above it. But we're going we're gonna to draw that out and we're just going to keep it out because it's still untouched. It's still a virgin line here. Okay. You can see price, you know, came up pretty close, but didn't. It was, it was, uh, it was reversed. So we're going to leave that on the board. The next thing I did is uh, I draw uh, up this purple line from a fib match that we had from a previous calculation um, matching matching the Fibonacci. So if you were uh, drawing Fibonacci's, you would do this. You would take one Fibonacci and we can go to the very wick and you bring it out to the wicks. And as long as you match that line to here, You're going to be okay. Okay. So I'm just going to keep those points on there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do this. the second thing you do is you draw the next 
Fibonacci from just the root of that, which is the what I call the core. And I draw it from the core to that top and the core of this bottom. And then you just leave it on there. And then what you do is you, you can find where they overlap and where they match. Okay, and there's a few things where you can do it. And where they match, you're going to find a, a line. And so this white line didn't match. This blue one didn't match. This green one kind of was close. The yellow didn't match in the red, but where they pr almost perfectly overlapped was this light blue one. And that's where you want to draw your trend line. Now, I've already drawn mines in here. So I'll make that solid. Solid. There you go. So that's what I'm going to do there. And then I can just delete these. We don't need them cluttering up our charts. So I drew that here. And you can see that when we did draw this, and, and we were just doing this all on this area right there, but when we did that, we saw that price had come down to that purple line in that area, and that's where it, find it, it found its rest to bounce and go up. Now, can it come back down? Oh, absolutely. But what is likely to happen? Well, let's examine this a little bit deeper. Okay, so the next things we saw in... Uh, we see this this trend line i see this it's very clear to me this trend line we're just connecting the the, the essence this one this one has some wicks and some cores but the essence is it's it's more of an art than anything else you can be very very accurate but sometimes it's going to be general and that you're going to see that sometimes happen more on price that is very manipulated as well if your eyes can see it then you can draw it see if i'm dropping the cores core core then some of these little side things are not as important okay core 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 draw the line okay and then draw it straight as you can this is going to give us an area of there as a sword cut so we'll know that that should be looking like a resistance area if price ever comes down to it so what i will do is i'll take a rectangle and i'll draw it on that range and uh, i have mine faded out fill and I make it you know just just enough to see okay I don't need the border I actually don't really need the border so much um, but I know that this this is an area up here where I might be expecting price to reject at if price ever comes so if you were bullish uh, uh, at the I'm sorry if you were bearish at these points you might be expecting price to come down if it comes up into that area and then it can come down. If you are bullish, you might be expecting price to come and swing up to that point. So it would look something like that. I would be very bullish if I see this pattern. As opposed to just right there in the middle, I wouldn't be so bullish. Okay, Like XRP, there's a phantom on here. We're going to get to that in just a moment. But we, we're, we're completing the story. Okay, So I'm telling you more of the story. Um, some resistance areas would be here at the top, so we can draw that. And I don't draw that as one of these lavender colors, but simply maybe like a magenta. So I'm, I'm aware that I remember, hey, this is a previous high. As price is coming here to this area, you might say, oh, maybe I should be watching for that. Um, I'm just going to put it uh, as a, a level two. Um, and then let's just, let's just fade that line a little bit because I'm not it's not in play right now so you can just fade the the visibility of it if you want it to um if you're really feeling adventurous you can draw these wicks up here but I have to see multiple ones for me to really care about them so much I'm mostly con concerned about the 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 actual core of those if I was concerned with the thickness and it was in play I'd be I'd draw it like this and you can, if you wanted to, just to remember that it's there, if, especially if you're just learning. But when I see a multiple wicks hitting that area, it might be important. This one's kind of close, so we'll leave that on there. But I'm just showing you how to be aware of those lines. Okay, before we get into the core of this, we're going to be connecting these lines. Uh, and I'll show you, this is where we're going to be drawing this top. Swing down, came back up to this area, and then we went down from there. So I'm going to connect those two at that angle and see if price touched it again. And as you can tell, price has not touched it again, but almost touched it again right here. See that? It came right back up. 
And when I see that, I'm going to do a couple things. I'm going to check my angles, make sure everything is right. If I was being very accurate, that's the angle. There we go. And it looks like price just about hit it um, and then came back down. And then if you're remembering that when you're play, trading in a range, this is these are more like a range than anything else. But the just of the range is when you can connect the wicks as well. So if I was connecting these two wicks, I might have drawn them like this. See how close this is? So let's do that. And then this is where I will make this a dashed line to represent that it's a wick. And we'll just leave it in play. So we know now, if you're following along at home with your on your iPad or your phone, or using TradingView or any whatever software, this is what you should more or less have at the current moment. There's a couple other things I drew that might be minor, and I'm going to show them as thinner um, because they're minor. In the overall trend of up, down, up, down, up, down, a little bit up, and then breakthrough, there are this point, this point, and that point, which is this one's very minor right here. So we're not really going to worry about that. And the other are minor now they're enough to stop price but not really they shouldn't be enough to change the price and the reason we know this is because it is very min minor however there was enough to push price all the way down to there and come back up and you need to pay attention to that that is very important let's look at it a little bit closer again so you know what you should your eyes should be looking for when you're looking at the price map you're like you're like a sailor. I always tell the chart room team. I said I feel like I'm a you know I'm a ship. You know we're we're riding on a on a boat. You know a big a big uh, a big cruise ship, but it's really bumpy. So put on your your seat belts. But we're I'm all I'm doing is watching for icebergs ahead. I'm I'm notifying of the danger. I, I'm telling people what I see. That's what I do with price action as a technical analyst, uh, drawing on price. And that's just a person who uses uh, technical whether they're indicators or the type of trading. Uh, uh, methods to uh, read price action that's basically the just of what it is <clears throat> now price has come down all the way to this level came up here came back down to this level again and then we went up again so we mark that it's important got it here is the blue line I drew for that and I put it at the core okay this is right about right there if you're being really accurate the next one is it's a very very minor one not that important but still enough to get in the way of price now guys this is a daily chart see it says 1d at the very bottom here it says 1d look at where I'm pointing where that big old arrow is 1d that means each one of these candles here each one this one this one this one this one this is some one day's worth of time this was back in May 8 May 3rd uh, May 10th, May 25th. And so all of these things are, have been telling a story of what price is doing. And you have buyers buying and selling and exit based on, uh, and market moves based on the, uh, on the sentiments and the feelings and the collection of those emotions and those trades that were made at those levels in the past. And so the past actually absolutely indicates the strongest events that will happen in the future. So if you've never, if this is one of your first videos of mine's, I get, uh, I, I again encourage you to please watch some of my other videos so you can understand more and more how price actually behaves and what things you should be looking for uh, as you're buying and selling. There's a lot of people who buy and sell and they only based, uh, they only buy or sell based on fundamentals. If you buy on fundamentals only, which is just knowing, oh, that stock is good or that price is good, you know, don't be so scared when price goes down or up against you because you don't, you're not paying attention to price action. However, for traders and investors who are watching price action, they know what things to be looking for and they know how price should behave. Okay, now we're going to draw the cuts. We're going to draw the cuts on the daily chart because this is where the candles are most simplistic and this is where they make the most sense. Your eye should catch a pattern here. This curve pattern it should catch and then we went up now I'm going to draw and show you how to do the phantom cut 
use on this gold chart we're gonna take a trend line and I'm gonna go to the bottom of the reds and I'm gonna draw and connect those red lines and I'm gonna draw them out Now, when I draw phantoms I usually draw them this aqua color okay now that I have now that I have this aqua color angle I'm getting it as close as I can to the real the real live angle I'm going to do two things I'm going to clone this line and I'm going to put it on the top of that curve in the highest point. And it's in the highest point in two areas. It's in the highest point of this, this, uh, the cores, which is going to be this core right there. Uh, as long as the line doesn't pass through any others, you can put it there. Or, and you should do this as well, you can clone that line and put it on the top. Okay, see that? That's the right, that's more the correct way. The, 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 it, the, the point where you draw the phantom should always be in between the two lows. If you're drawing it out here, it's incorrect. So if I have two lows here, 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 then it's going to be somewhere in here. The cores or the highest point of that wick between those cores. Now you could draw it here, but the reason I'm not really drawing it here is because it's not really part of that swing. This was kind of just like more part of this and I don't I don't really care for that okay I, I'm mostly concerned about when price moved up and came to its highest and then slowly moved down this is the story not the wall got it so I drew it like that so now that we have the phantom cut we can see that price cut through right here I call that the phantom sword cut or a phantom cut these are a hidden price line unless you and unless you draw the phantom on here you won't be able to see where price cut this point in time when price cut is a very very important time and that's where you're actually going to draw the support straight out straight out like this horizontal so let's draw that in and now because that's going to tell a very important point it's a point where people who miss the run say oh i wish i got back in and also peep a point where people had lot who had lost money saying oh my gosh i wish i wish price would just come down to that area they're waiting for price to come down to that area and then people who who uh didn't get in they're hoping that price would uh they missed the wave up and they're just waiting for cheaper prices they're waiting for that area and it's just a general psychology point i'm not sure why it works but it took years to figure this stuff out and so now that I figured it out, I, I draw them, I see them, I've been drawing these for, for many years now. Um, and just recently, um, in this past year, I have been drawing all of these on cryptos and it works exactly the same way as it does in the Forex markets. So let's draw the rectangle again as a zone. So you take your rectangle tool and you're going to draw where those are at and you're going to just extend this out like a range so if you extend those out you should see the range and this is part of the story now okay if price were to have ever came back down to this area and swing down you're gonna find support usually this is a strong support and it's enough to break these resistance lines that are in the area because we need to crack those like ceilings a couple of things happen Price had been touching it and it touched it right here, but this wasn't a real full swing. This was a swing. That that is this is what you want into the sword cut area. And that's remember I always I told you in my last videos why I like arches. Um, this is why I like these curves because you need these type of curves if you're going to have sustained higher prices. Anything in this range, you have to have a good reason. To get everybody on board you have to have support and so this is what 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 actually happened there's some good support at that area now there is now for me a range of prices from here to here that price can either come here and do that or price can either come up and do that but we are now ready for price of gold to go into these higher higher areas there's a few things that have to happen though because on the daily chart we still have not broken this there was uh points where this was intersected where this core 
and this wick met they draw prices like a magnet and you can see that happen i always talk about these called intersections in the chart room you can join me or you'll see them on my patreon when i'm posting them um there's times when there's major intersection points and it'll draw a price to those points it's sometimes not enough to push them through but it can they can open up like windows even though price was really down here on august 4th it sucked price up even just for a little bit into that area so it tells us price is not just ready to go just yet let's get into a four hour chart all right so now we're back with a four hour chart what story is price telling with the four hour chart now what i see here is something a little bit advanced i see a parabolic with an exception okay and i'm going to show you how i how i see it so this 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 the main point is here with this being the exception and what that means and you're going to see this especially in, in places that are really manipulated is that this area was an anomaly in the overall pattern that we see this here is nothing here all that that's that so that means we calculate the one that's the one that has the pattern this yet we have an anomaly here so there's a couple things we can look at you can look at the core area of those and you can remember that so that means this guys just say this didn't exist and we have this well this gives us support at these areas if you draw them straight up that means price would come up come down and then should be able to bounce up but instead this one acts as a resistance for one area so price went up to that area and came back down let's draw it out So we're going to take our curve tool and we're going to bring it down to here and then we're going to bring balance to the curve and we're covering we're, co we're, we're covering this these areas here 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 the cores cores a wick of this and and this gives us this general curve that's what we're looking for we're also going to draw the resistance area and we can draw it with a rectangle because that's the this is the exception area this area all the way from here down to here that's the this is the exception area but I'm not gonna draw that in the color of a sword cut we're just gonna draw that as like a red okay and this is just gonna make things a little bit funny and again this is a little complicated but this is what we're gonna do where price has this curve we're going to draw the sword cut in that area where price is hurting. And let's just duplicate that for its time's sake. Okay, this is the sword cut area. And we're seeing. And why did I draw it above? Well, because you have all these wicks up here. Okay. How many wicks do we have? A lot. Look at those wicks. So I'm going to get this curve a little nice, as good as we can. And that kind of tells us the width of that area that you want to draw your sword cuts. And this should tell us what's healthy. Good, good. See that? Looks great. Looks great. That's how you do it. And if you were looking at these lower time frames on a four hour chart, you would see that price came up after it broke through. We were able to draw that area as the sword cut area because that's the pain point. That was the most important point. Then price came down, sat right in the area, came right back up, hit the roof from there, came down, came up again, tried to come back through that area punched right back down after hitting that phantom support of the wick from the daily chart that we had already drew. Okay. And then what happened after that is we came down and we kind of, this is what happened. We tried to go right through this line and came right back up. Did you see that? 
And then we tried stopping right at the line. We tried coming down. It stopped right at the line. And that's where we're at right now. We are right there at that line. $1,803 is the current price of gold as of the filming of this video. So these lines are powerful, but are they enough to stop price? Why does this work? Well, because, guys, we're using all of this. these players here are the ones supporting this area. But now that we built up quite a bit, is this guy strong enough to break through that? At the moment, not yet. But it's possible they can still win. Because again, this is just a four hour chart. And I'm using this as a tutorial to teach you, uh, you know, how to draw price maps and how to see the sword methods. When you see who's battling and who's cutting who, you can actually start to see who's weak and who's strong. So overall, there's a battle going on. And right now, will they win? Will this support come back into play? It's possible. It's like a backup fighter for this current fighter. Um, there is a, a few other things at play that you know you should be aware of. That um, there is a curve right here. So that also means a little bit of these players. But it's kind of hidden because look how muffled it is. You know, it's like right there in this area. And unless you know what to look for, you don't really know it's there. So what do I think? I think that this guy and these guys are going to win against these guys. Okay? So really, we have a very big battler now winning. And is this enough to push price through? Well, I think so. I think it's so. This one's getting lower and lower. And a lot, a lot of times, if price is strong, it'll just phase right through those lines. That, that, that is very likely to be the case. You see that often. And then it weakens. It's just a matter of time. If price continues too long, it just kind of sneaks right through. And then it can go up. It waits to cross the tracks. Okay. Um, if price is really strong, it'll try to push right through those areas, and it can. But we gotta we gotta remember these are the big players here, here, and you can see something else too. I mean, look at that! How price came right up to those that 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 the pink area here on the four hour chart and came right back down. That tells us that on the daily chart, this is still very powerful. And if that's powerful, then the wick is gonna be also powerful maybe not as powerful but it'll be powerful so this is what's been happening with the battle of gold and gold can beat through that line then we can see higher prices until then you know people will start probably drawing like flag patterns and things like that they're going to see and you're going to start seeing other technical analysis do that um if we have a big event soon then gold can do that um i won't say um uh i do i will say that we do know from the prophetic community that gold is going to be doing really really well and there's some um there is some information that's coming out that it should go it should do well um perhaps this year so we will say that we'll keep an eye on it for right now i got my eyes on a, just a daily chart i'm not really so much concerned because my real concern is this battle here with gold. And so that's this update uh, for today's episode for gold. Tomorrow's video, I'll be covering over some, some charts that people wanted me to go over. We're going to go over some more. Uh, we'll go over XLM, uh, Algo, Matic, VET, XDC, DAG, and Z Zill. Uh, for short for Zequila. Again, we'll cover over those cryptos. But today I wanted to have a good video. I wanted to make sure I give a good video about gold for people who are looking to get into gold, investing in gold, uh, or trading gold, and they may not have this map that uh, that I have, uh, that I have drawn, and uh, how I you know analyze price. I wanted to provide that and give this information here. Please remember today, guys, that everything you see here is not trading advice or financial advice of any kind. This is just merely my opinions only for entertainment and comedic purposes only bear in mind i eat red crayons for breakfast and i sometimes get a tummy ache and if you eat red crayons too you're eating them at your own risk and you can also get a tummy ache and uh bear in mind you're probably also crazy so please read between the lines per my uh disclosures for uh youtube land um i i enjoy providing this content for you please join me on the chart room 
the the link is in the video uh, up here you can see that it's also in the description uh, that is the link for the chart room you can make a lot of friends in the group and uh, you can speak to uh, you can speak to everyone about uh, you know charts or your know, uh, cryptos or you know what you're interested in or what you're going to do with your XLM or your XRP and, and all, all the things you want to talk about there's a, it's a great community of people that that uh, that have joined uh, joined me and asking about different things you can also have a chat with me there most of the time if you really want to get my attention find one of my posts and click the reply button because then it sends a direct notification to me. Uh, otherwise, I, I just have my no notifications turned off for group chats and I just jump back in the group chat when uh, at my convenience as I'm sometimes working or filming videos for you guys and uh, con uh, gaining content for you guys or um, living my life. So I want to just tell that. I also wanted to say that if these videos have been blessing you, if you want to be a part and, and, uh, and be a blessing to my life, consider me consider to making a donation on Patreon. Uh, the link is also in the description. I really enjoy the Patreon because it's like a website that I can post all of my charts and video links uh, when I have that or if I have exclusive content. Uh, in the future, I'm going to be doing uh, exclusive contents for other uh, things like gold specifically and other things. I'll be doing them directly from my Patreon. Uh, it does, uh, it does, membership does require a donation of any kind. It can be a dollar, it can be a thousand dollars, and just, you know, whatever's in your heart. Uh, trust me, I don't mind. But those will also give you notifications, especially if you don't have Telegram, but you still want to get access to what, what charts I'm doing throughout the day. Um, every day I'll be posting charts of XRP, um, and then throughout the week I'll be putting charts of, of different stuff like some of the other cryptos that we're covering uh, from the altcoin videos or some of those things, but bear in mind, uh, you'll you'll see me make all, most of my big announcements when I do make a trade or I do make a video announcement of what I'm doing. Uh, I will be posting them on Patreon, um, and then I post also in the chart room on Telegram for free, so you can always join me there uh, on Telegram. But again, uh, I am taking a, a good interest in in um, in the people who are are showing showing that hey, they do support my work. It does take a lot of time and effort to make these videos from uh for you guys very often and to you know provide the charts and to um you know make sure i respond to uh, all the people that are asking me questions about this uh, crypto or that crypto or you know this situation or that situation so i will let you know that uh, i do really 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 appreciate it when people do um make a make a donation to my group um so far we have 13 people who have signed up on patreon to give monthly donations of uh, various amounts. Uh, somebody, uh, most people give like $5 and it's so wonderful. I want to tell every single one of you guys, thank you for supporting me. Thank you for believing um, in uh, in me and and, and and following me and joining uh, my charts and, and watching my price maps. And, and I hope you guys are learning a lot to create, not just becoming dependent on me, but learning how to draw your own charts because that's how you're going to become good. That's how you're going to become proficient. Uh, whatever commodity or technical analysis you're using, you can use these techniques on almost every single chart. When you're discovering the story, you're going to have the trading edge that you needed because, as I always say, price is the best indicator of itself. You can trade with lots of indicators. I use some indicators, and I use some of them in different ways, but price is the best indicator of itself, and I want you to just be aware of those type of things. Yesterday I formed I filmed a very important video and I really really want you guys to remember the video that I filmed yesterday. Uh, there's there's a lot of reasons why why it's very important. It's actually part two of a of an XRP analysis that we we had broken down. Um, and if you really really want to understand some of the principles behind what I'm doing, watch that XRP video from yesterday and uh, and the day before, which is part one. And part two, they both have a teal background, and so you 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 know them as a pair. Um, it is I have a very important message in in towards the end of those videos. I really want you all to see it. I also wanted to say thank you to all my YouTube subscribers. Uh, we have uh, right now, as of the filming of this video, five hundred and sixty eight subscribers, and I think that's just phenomenal that's just phenomenal it just seemed like just two weeks ago we had just uh, about 100 subscribers um just a little over 100 and and this is just blowing up so 
I, I'm getting a lot of positive comments that people have never seen anything like this. I, I, I you know, to be honest, guys, I, I just letting you know, I really, really didn't want to share my secrets. I've, I've been doing this type of trading for years and I always just said, yeah, I'm going to keep it to myself. One day I was in a trading room where people were talking about cryptos and I just realized no one, everyone was talking about cryptos like they were some kind of club, you know, and I was like, man, let me post a chart and I was posting that Bitcoin, you know, that everyone should sell Bitcoin at right now because we are at the top and it was like 60, uh, 59,000, something like that. I, I have the, the screenshots of those days and I was telling people and people, you know, some people responded and another and I, and I didn't plan on responding, but then few days later, you know, when people, when price crashed, I saw some more trades. I posted some more charts and then people started asking me questions. And some people like saying, no, don't listen to him. You know, um, you know, he, you know, he's just taking pictures of charts. And I was like, okay, I'm not, I don't, I don't need anything from you guys that I'm just posting these charts because I'm, I, I don't like to see people losing so much. I mean, a lot of people are saying, yeah, buy Bitcoin. And I'm, and I can clearly see where we're clearly at the top. Um, and it was looking set up for a good sell. I mean, it, it was looking really good for a sell um, because of the sword cut. It was really cut really nice. And I, I, I was just like, I'm going to share this. Everybody needs to get out of Bitcoin and you need to get out right now. And I had some people that were starting to come to me. I had Sully, SLK, uh, I had Thomas. Um, and I, I had a few people who was just, you know, kept asking me questions. And a couple guys, and they were like, you know, asking me this about, hey, what's going on with XRP? What's going on with this? You know, um, you know, you know, we never seen your charts. And, and a lot of them started following me and they're, they're not, they weren't traders. They were just, you know, they were just people who buy and hold. And that's okay. As I said yesterday in my other video, there are people who come to me from two sides, the investor side and the trader side. But, pe but all people are coming to me to find out what is happening with their favorite cryptos or their investments. And so, um, I, I was really I was really grateful that this group of uh, group of gentlemen, you know, kept coming and asking me questions and, and other people started asking me questions too. Uh, you know, Antonella, um, everyone was was really kind to me. And then I got kicked out of the, the room because p too many people kept asking me questions. They, the, the moderator was like, hey, make your own room or I'm like, OK, <laughs> so I, I made my uh, chart room so I can just explain. And I was I would put up a chart and I would just type type everything. Like I'm telling you guys in a video, I would type it all up. And after a while, somebody else would just join and my message would get lost in the fray and they would ask me the same questions. Like, okay, what about this? What about that? And, and then I, I started answering more and more and it, it just got too, so not manageable for me to just keep typing the same things over, but to pin my message. So I started pinning my messages. So you, that's where you can go to the chart room up here um, uh, in the link in the Telegram and you can click on pinned and you can immediately go to my pins or what my what I was posting last about the charts and you can see a very up-to-date analysis about you know what calls I'm making uh what I'm doing not calls I shouldn't say that what what I'm investing what I'm trading and then I noticed that it was just so much easier to make a video where I can explain my thoughts and teach you how to do this these things I, I only wanted to really uh you know I wanted to create this elaborate course and 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 sell it one day for you know thousands of dollars but i think i think even though i'm still going to be going in that direction one day i think during this season the body of christ needs this and there's people who need to who are not having peace about what is happening and i told you yesterday what i really what the prophetic community has been explaining what's going to happen in the next few months is that even though the lord may be leading you some of you to get into certain investments or certain cryptos you're going to see some big, big, big ups and downs. I mean, you're going to see some crazy stuff happening and it, and it's going to burn people out. You know, just listen to the, the pastor there from Fireside Grace Ministries. He is also talking about cryptos um, and what things the Lord is showing him and his wife. And his wife. Um, I have uh, some, you know, as I said, there are people from the prophetic community who reach out to me personally to tell me some things and, and I'm in the middle of organizing some things I can share, some things I cannot share uh, and that's okay too but people are praying for me and, and they're just wanting me to be aware of some of these things and seeing how some of these prophecies fit in with the price maps and so some of you have been led here because there are 
you know, in, there are people and there are prophets and, and people who are collecting prophetic information and they're saying, hey, you know, we're hearing this, you know, is it now or is it later or is this set up or, you know, like, and, and, and they're, they're, they don't have any reference point. You know, like if I said, hey, buy, buy, you know, if I said buy XRP at a thousand dollars and XRP was at 20,000, you, you, if you didn't even know what any of that stuff meant, you wouldn't, you wouldn't know that you had to wait. Or if price was already at a lower price, you would say, well, why not now? Is it now a good price or later? You know, I heard XRP is going to 25 cents and I absolutely still believe that. But I think we're going to be going through a very big shakeout and booms. I really think, and we're going to, I want to do a heart to heart talk and I'm going to talk about it this week on why the shakeout. And I'm going to, I'm going to really talk about that. I'm going to do a video. You'll see my face. We're going to have that this week. Um, so anyway, this video is getting just a little bit long, guys. Thank you for spending your time with me. I really appreciate it. And I hope you guys learned something uh, today about gold. And I hope you guys have some, you followed a long drawing and keeping these maps on your own, these lines that I've drawn on your own maps. So I'll leave you all with this from Melody Song. And she had posted this. And Melody sent me this just a few uh, minutes ago during the filming of this video. She said, from the Bible of Isaiah chapter 43 verse 2 when you pass through the waters i will be with you and through the rivers they shall not overflow you they shall not overflow you when you walk through the fire you shall not be burned nor the flame scorch you friends remember jesus christ he died on the cross for you for the forgiveness of sins he offers eternal life through the blood that He shed. God sent His only Son because He loved you to take your place for your sins, for my sins and for your sins. The Bible says that we've all fallen short of the glory of God, including me, maybe especially me. But while we were still yet sinners, the Bible says why we were still sinners, Christ loved us. He died for us. And so we know that Christ loves us, that God loves us. God has not forgotten you. God is with you. He wants to be a part of your life. He wants to make you a part of His eternity. Friends, He offers the best gift of all, and that's the gift of eternal life. If only you'll accept His Son and accept Him into your heart. Say, Lord, forgive me of my sins. Be the Lord of my life. And friends, I challenge you to give your life to Jesus Christ because He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. He'll never let you down. You may think that all is lost or you lost everything. Trust me, I've lost everything in my life at times. A lot of people wouldn't believe my story if they heard it. But I'm letting you know, friends. He's real. He loves you. He still cares about you. He hasn't given up on you. Maybe you've given up on yourself. But he hasn't given up on you. He's still calling you home. Just like that story of the prodigal, prodigal son. You probably remember it when you were young. But the Lord is calling you home. Lord Jesus, bless everyone. Let them have a great day. Let them make it a good weekend tomorrow. Let them have peace in the Holy Spirit about what things they, what maneuvers they should be doing with their finances, with their investments. And, and show them what they are to do. Things beyond any chart, Lord. Uh, things beyond anything I can calculate. Overflowing, blessing. Bless them with overflowing blessings, God. Take good care of them. I love them. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks, friends, for joining me. I'll see you next time.